Butler on Texas roads. And this New Year's Eve, a father who lost his son in a drunk driving crash is reminding El Pasoans to make a plan to safely celebrate. CBS 4 at Noon's Alyssa Bethencourt has the story. Yeah, listen, according to TxDOT, El Paso ranks in the top 10 for the most alcohol-related crashes in Texas. On a day like today where people will lift, you can also pick somebody in your group who isn't drinking to be the designated driver. I'm reporting in downtown El Paso, Alyssa Bethencourt, CBS 4 at noon. All right, thank you, Alyssa. Well, some parts of the world are already ringing in 2021 through celebrations. So they will look a lot different this year.